Legends say the ancients created our world. Mighty gods with the power of life and death. A world of wonder. A world of mystery. A world of magic. It is said the ancients sealed away a great evil within a prison forged from all the elements and banished it to the lands of the forgotten. But evil can never be forgotten. It lingers in the shadows, waiting. Waiting to corrupt the purest of souls to do its bidding. Now the remnants of the past echo its terror through the bitter winds, and the drums of war and death sound once more. And what was legend? is now real. Hello, and welcome to a special look at War of the Ancients. When we set out designing War of the Ancients, we wanted to capture the essence of some of the best tabletop and card games, from the strategic planning of the deck to the vast array of cards and how they can alter the very nature of the game. Battles take place on a 7x8 grid known as the battlefield. The goal is simple, defeat an opposing player's ancient before they defeat yours. I'm going to play as Gaurok, the mighty earth ancient, guardian of the mountain. But in order to defeat his enemies, Gaurok is going to need a little help from his friends. At your disposal is an arsenal of creature, spell, and trap cards, each with their own unique attributes. At the start of a match, players position their forces. I'm going to take a more defensive approach and place a wall of protection around my ancient. As the match begins, the fog of war is lifted, revealing the enemy. My opponent controls Anemi the Swift, Guardian of the Sky. Each player begins with 3 magic points and 5 cards. A player's turn consists of five phases, draw, summon, movement, attack, and end phase. On the draw phase, an additional magic point and card is gained. During the summon phase, the player can summon additional reinforcements from their hand to the battlefield. On the movement phase, up to three characters can move for a maximum of two spaces. Next up is the attack phase, where up to three characters may attack. With no characters in range, I'm going to pass my attack phase. And finally, the end phase, where any unresolved effects are played out. It looks like my opponent controls creatures with the haste ability. Haste allows characters to move an extra space. Without any ranged units, I'll have to close in the gap for a counterattack. Another assault has left Gaurok severely injured and my forces decimated, but I think it's time we show the enemy what an Ancient is truly capable of. With Ancients, we wanted to make them feel special, so we gave them the ability to level up, becoming more powerful and gaining new powers as the battle wages on. In this case, Gaurok's level up cost is 2 magic points. I'm going to go ahead and level up Gaurok. At level 2, Garrock has been fully healed, gaining 3 attack and 6 armor.
Skyrock leveled up and my opponent retreating, I think it's time we take the fight to the enemy. But I'll have to take a little caution, as my opponent has just played cards with the stealth ability. Stealth cards are played face down concealing it, and revealed once the card is being attacked or attacking. Things are not looking too good for Gowrock. Since summoning a creature card will take far too long to bring up to the front lines, I'm going to instead play a spell card. Spells are powerful cards which can alter the course of battle, aiding troops on the front lines. Unlike character cards, spells are not played on any specific area of the battlefield, but rather its effects are resolved once used. In this instance, I'm going to play Swipe. Swipe deals 1 damage to characters next to your Ancient and healing the amount dealt. With the haste ability, an enemy is going to be very difficult to catch. I'll have to play a trap card to slow him down. As spells are used to support troops on the front lines, traps are used defensively. Traps can be placed anywhere on your side of the battlefield, its effects hidden from the enemy. When a creature walks into or attacks a trap, it is then triggered before being placed into its owner's graveyard. In this instance, I'm going to play stun trap, which stuns an enemy when it triggers. With the Nemi stun, Gaura can now finish him off and claim victory. We hope you've enjoyed the special preview. On behalf of the team, we want to thank you and hope you support us in making War of the Ancients a reality.